Hypixel Skyblock mods are essential for the gaming experience. There are so many useful features that make gameplay much nicer, but unfortunately most of the mods are made for version 1.8.9, what most people play on. And with Skyblock going to version 1.21.5, this makes all of the old mods irrelevant. So for the forging update, I found a bunch of Skyblock mods for version 1.21.5 and I'll be giving you guys a full tutorial of how to download these mods so you can use them as well. As a warning, mods are always used at your own risk, but I've been using all of these for a while now and haven't been banned yet. All the mods in the video will be linked in the description. If you don't want to click the links, I understand, ratters are annoying. Then just search up the mod name and download, and then click either the modrinth or forge link that pops up. So the first important mod that we have is fabric, and what you're going to want to do is click this download for windows button, and then you're going to go in the top right for your downloads, and then you're going to click on the thing you just downloaded. And you're going to want to select version 1.21.5, uh, I think this is the newest version, and then you're going to install. Uh, it's going to say you're going to want to close the Minecraft launcher, so just close Minecraft and the launcher if you have it open, and then just install again, and then just click yes. And then you've got Fabric installed, and it'll show up when you go to launch your Minecraft, and it'll be one of the installation versions. Also, if you go into the top here under installations, you can actually edit the installation to change the name to whatever you want. Uh, mine's going to be Hypixel Skyblock Mods for 1.21.5. And then you can also go down to more options and you see this like MX like number here. And if you change this to like four instead of two, you just get a little more RAM. So Minecraft runs a little bit faster and smoother. Okay, so when you download your Minecraft mods, they go to your downloads folder. And then what you're going to want to do is, once you have them all, you pull up Windows plus R, and this will bring you to this menu here. You just type percent app data percent uh, backslash dot Minecraft backslash mods, and then that'll pull up your mod menu. Mine's full. I'm just going to empty that. So basically, you take all your downloads, and then you just drag them into your Minecraft mods folder, and boom, you've got all your Minecraft mods. Now let's get into our actual mods. Skyblocker is a very great general overall, very broad mod. It's got dungeons, kudra, slayers, farming, mining, and so much more. There's tons of stuff like custom health and mana bars, displays for things like speed, and just a ton of useful stuff that you can look through and find a bunch of changes. A personal favorite of mine is the swing on abilities because you can't right click with swords in 1.21, so it's really nice to have a visual indicator that I did in fact use my ability. It also adds these really nice tabs for easy warps, but I disabled the ones I didn't really need. Auction, bazaar, crafting, and a bunch more useful menus you might want access to. Roughly Enough Items is another one that's really nice. It's basically just like Not Enough Items, or NEU, for 1.21. It shows you all the items and the recipes, and a really useful feature that I like is if you double click this search bar here, you can actually see which items in your inventory have that text in them. You also need Architecture API as another mod just to get this mod to work, because if you try just to install REI, then it will just break it. And I learned this the hard way, but then don't worry, I use my very knowledgeable coding experience and expertise uh, to figure it out. Aaron's mod is a really useful one. It has a bunch of HUD elements, some dungeon stuff, and you can even disable explosion particles from Hyperion or any other particle effect that you don't like seeing in this menu over here. Command Keys is just a really nice version of the Skydol's custom keybinds. Here you can set a bunch of different commands to certain keys so that when you just click them, you just activate that uh, text. It's really useful for warps, chocolate factory, maybe like a thank you bingo's brewer message or anything of the sort. Tooltip scroll is really useful for just scrolling across really long items so that you can actually see the full thing. Next up, I have some more like QOL and nice mods that aren't really Skyblock related, but ones that I personally like. Next up is Better F3, which just makes the F3 menu look much cleaner. I also like how it color codes the different stuff, and it's just much easier to see instead of just a wall of gray text. Next up is Chat Plus. This allows you to adjust the size of your chat box with right control, and you can even right click messages to copy a bunch and control C and copy them and paste them and whatever. You also need Fabric Language Kotlin just so that Chat Plus mod works. And then we've got Mod Menu, which is just this really cool menu I've been using the whole time to make it so much nicer to navigate the different mods. Look, I know not everything translates over from 1.8.9 to 1.21.5 mods, but 
give it a bit of time and I'm sure most of the old mods will be compatible for 1.21.5. I wouldn't be surprised if the devs are already working on getting these mods to the latest version. Uh, I don't know how long that would take though, but these mods will definitely get you until that uh, change happens, which I'm sure is going to be sooner rather than later. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, just learned uh, different mods that you can use, found something useful from this. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the forging update, hopefully, maybe is the next upload. Alright, peace out.